Hey, hey, hey. Come on in. Got to talk about the spiritual challenge. So excited to see everybody's post. Love all the sacred spaces. They make me feel so good just seeing them. Very inspiring how you can change it up and what you can add. So again, thank you guys so much for posting. I happen to jump on a little early today because I am teaching tonight. So if you're in the Birmingham area, come on over. Reiki Circle at 530 followed by Restorative Yoga. We'll take a moment and honor Dr. King. Yes, today is that... Celebration of his, I guess celebration is the only way to look at it, right? The loss that we had suffered and all that he did for us down here, all around, all around the world. Yes, hashtag freedom. At any rate, come on in and join me today. We're going to talk about continuing the process of building our spiritual practice. What are you noticing? How does it feel to sit in your sacred space? I know for me, I love it. I have several. I love coming to them. Today has been a day where I've been receiving lots of healing treatments for myself. Just one of those days. Pranic healing, Akashic Record teacher. And just being in my space makes me feel so good, so strong, so alive in the work that I do. So I hope that you're noticing it too. And then when we use our breath, that was the second day, right? Adding in the breath makes us feel grounded, helps to release the excess energy that's going on for us as well. Hey, Brooke, good to see you. So today we're going to add one more part to that and we're going to add calling in our higher self. And this can, once you get used to it, this can come really quick. In the beginning, it may take a little extra effort. You may have to spend a little bit more time. I think I'm back. All right, Marissa, I'll call you back. That was my daughter. Love her dearly. At any rate, it's what happens with Facebook Live, right? When we call in our higher self, right? When we call that in, to me, it just really helps to feel that alignment. It really does. And on the beginning, like I was saying, it can be a little bit challenging at first. Like, am I doing it right? Do I feel it? Do I even know what I'm doing? A little ego, right? Gets in our way. But just drop the ego into the heart as we'll set it up. And then just keep practicing. But eventually, the more you do it, it can come in and such a quick moment. It really can. All right. So we always return to our elements, a few, right? A, air, F, fire, E, earth, W, water. All right. We have our breath. I'm going to light some sage. Today, also, I believe in the email, talked about getting a crystal. I've been working with this um, Herkimer. It has a little bit of... Um, like a little bit of black root tile in it. For me, I need some grounding right now. So I love it. It helps to activate that third eye. You can bring it right in front of you to align that energy as well. And also, too, really important, grounding our feet to the earth as well. The water, again, releasing the elements, and then you have the water in your space as well. So as you see, a few elements can be the physical, and it can be also the energy that those elements represent. We want to continue to feel that. It helps us to be grounded. It helps us to feel that all over energy being really supported in what we're doing. All right, so what we're going to do, if you have some sage in your own space, go ahead, get it light it here we go take a nice deep inhale i'm going to start the timer using the breath exhaling out just like we did yesterday same thing inhaling bringing that breath up through the body and as you exhale send it all the way back down deep into the earth inhaling opening up the breath vertically opening that channel Exhaling, sending it down, and exhaling out the excess stress, emotions, excess feelings. Inhaling, opening up. <sighs> and exhale, releasing back down. Now this is when we're going to invite in our higher self. So we start with an invocation. We drop into our heart, opening up with gratitude. Calling in. Call in your higher self. Ask to be guided, to be protected. To come in for you and offer that wisdom. You can use your own words, whatever comes to you. And then just close your eyes and begin to notice. See if you can bring in that presence right above the head, right in alignment, exhaling out. Just allow for that presence to come in. What it does also is it brings in the spiritual body, helps to align the spiritual and the physical. You feel it as you open up the breath, and exhale down. Feel that alignment with your higher self coming in. Aligning the chakras. Inhaling. And exhaling. Perhaps you have something troubling you. This is when you turn it over to your higher self. That invisible part. 
inhaling and exhaling. And just notice without judgment, just notice. Inhaling and exhaling, feeling that alignment coming in, feeling the messages coming forward. Trust, trust in your guidance, inhaling and exhaling. There's just a little knowing that comes forward. I feel a little presence right above me. Maybe you notice it too. Like I said in the beginning, it may take a little extra effort, but the more you call it in, the quicker it comes for you. Continuing the breath up and exhale back down. Inhaling and exhaling. And as you feel that alignment coming forward, ask yourself, ask that higher part of who you are for the guidance you need. And maybe it won't come in this moment, but maybe when you get up later, you'll see it, you'll get it, you'll feel it. Inhaling and exhaling, sending the breath down deep into the earth. And as you inhale, pull it back up from the earth, through the crown, up into the heavens as you connect with that higher guidance. And exhale, bringing it back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling, feel that alignment. Feel that wisdom of your own spirit coming forward for you right now. Exhaling down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Trust in that knowing. Trust in the guidance of your higher self. Continuing the breath. Exhaling down. One more minute. Just dropping into the heart feeling the alignments of the chakras and feeling the higher guidance coming in right above the crown chakra. Exhaling down, deep into the earth. Inhaling up from the earth, up into the heavens. Connect with their guidance. Exhale down. Just allow yourself to be still and quiet. Nice. Coming back. Thank your higher guidance for showing up. Feel the feet grounded on the earth. Coming back. So let me know what you experience. Let me know if you have trouble connecting. There are many ways to connect. You can call in your higher guidance. You can call in spirit guides. You can call in your angels. I like to also, with Reiki, we call in our masters, our teachers. Whatever suits you, whatever works for you, and depending on where you are in any given day, right? So many ways of calling in and connecting. But I do like that alignment. I feel like it comes right over the head through the third eye, all the way down. I feel a little presence right here. So just put that intention out there for you to feel that presence and notice, notice what you notice. That's what my Akashic Record teacher says all the time. Notice what you notice, no judgment. And then you'll see, go for a walk, get up, move around in that guidance. There it is for you, definitely. All right guys, so keep posting. Thelma calls in her angels and archangels. Excellent, Thelma. And yes, I loved your sacred spaces. They were so great to see all those many ones. That was a beautiful, is that like a cherry quartz? I don't know, it was beautiful. So keep posting, guys. I love the postings. Again, whoever posts the most each day is gonna be entered to win. Definitely, although this is a challenge for yourself, I do want to make it fun, and I appreciate the interaction in the group. I love it, the support. I need it. I hope you do, too. I really do appreciate it. So come join us. Continue on. You're never too late to start, right? Definitely. So let me know again how this was for you today. 
Tomorrow, we're going to be actually talking about um, a practice for work. So I think I'm going to start in the morning. I know I'm kind of getting off schedule a little bit, but hey, that's okay. This is life. This is real life. It cannot be perfect every day. No need to be perfect. Forget perfect. We do it when we can, as long as you come back to that space. So I think in the morning, I'm going to jump on early. I already have an early 6 a.m. pranayama with my uh, leadership groups. So I'll probably come in right there to set you up for work. It's a really great place that needs your attention as well. So again, post below. If you're in the Birmingham area, come on over to Birmingham Yoga, Reiki Circle, and Restorative Yoga. We need it, guys. Lots of energy going around. April is crazy. We're in this retrograde. Really crazy. I think uh, Kathy posted the Mystic Mama report for April, and that's exactly what it's saying. We need to slow down, right? Find a meditation. That's going to slow you down. Five minutes can seem like a lot for many people, and that's a good way to slow your energy down. Oh, also to do today... The podcast dropped with Dr. Jacob Lieberman. I know it's long. I do. I couldn't help it. I wanted to just ask him and ask him questions. It's really good. I did put some timestamps in there. So if you have to stop and come back, it's well worth the listening. It really is. He has so much information. All right. Let's see. Jessica says the guidance is coming faster and faster. See, there you go. Proof. Yay. Jessica's been practicing for a while, right? The more you practice with it, it will come quicker, right? And you'll feel the guidance. You'll feel that alignment. All right. Great podcast. A hey, yay. Wasn't it? I know it's long, but gosh, he had so much to offer. Such a beautiful heart. Oh, he really did. And really great information. We need it. Medicine of the present. It used to be medicine of the future. Now it's of the present. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me again. I'm going to head over to Birmingham Yoga. I think I'm going to go for a little walk. It's sun shining out here. Lift up the spirit. All right, post below. I love it. Thank you guys so much for joining me to your spirit. Namaste.